very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so as usual we need to make a review about our forex signals from the last week and however we have to admit that the first day of the last week was not so good and as you can see these are the results front of you however uh, there are two things that we need to mention number one is um, we need to compare our results with the other signals providers um, most of them actually if not all of them they will just let the signal to hit the stop loss they will not even bother to let the members close the trade with the minimized losses as much as possible however what we did here is minimizing the losses 40 pips of loss 30 and only 3 pips of loss and we got 20 pips of profit from one signal so the other thing is is we are actually transparent and honest with everyone we are not hiding the results we are not trying to manipulate anything at all it's so easy for me now to edit these these results and just try something else but we never do that because we are honest with everyone and that is exactly what we are doing in extreme trader now you might be wondering the reason behind these losses and of course it is the distraction from some of the members who keep sending messages to Angela even here Angela she had to send this notification in the group telling members to stop sending her messages they are only distracting her they are shattering her confidence and she really cannot send signals when someone is messaging her asking her some honestly some really silly questions like are you going to send signals today are you planning to send signals now uh, did you look at the euro USD? Can you send the signal to sell or buy the the pair? I mean, guys, these these messages are actually distracting Angela. If we are not going to send any signals today, don't worry. We will notify you in the premium group. We will send a public message and we'll let you know all of you. Anyway, because of that, we decided that we are going to launch our Extreme Trader website. You can visit this website and uh, from there, you can actually join the premium group and you can watch our videos. Uh, soon, very soon, no one will be able to contact Angela anymore. This is our website, extreme-trader.com. Uh, this is going to be the only way to communicate with us and you can actually use our live support chat to contact our support agent who will be helping you and replying to your messages and concerns. So, as I said, uh, the messages on Telegram is going to be uh, gone and only uh, the chat through the website is going to be available. And as you can see, these are the results from the premium group. And let me just share with you. Uh, the messages or the feedbacks that we have received from the from the clients thankfully uh, by the end of the week they were actually happy with the results as you can see thanks for the good profit today god bless you guys uh, every day got winning long life angela of course it all depends on the money management if you are prepared for the losses you will actually enjoy making profits using our signals even though there was some bad days you can always enjoy making profits only if you are prepared for the losses so everything is going well and i'm glad for that if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video or you can actually visit our website and jo join the premium group signals directly from there so uh, i hope this uh, was informative to you and i wish you guys or I, w I wish to see you guys there in the premium signals group so let's start right now the weekly analysis and uh, we will start with the euro usd now by looking at the weekly candle we can notice a strong bullish momentum on the resistance level and it's very worthy to mention that the euro usd is right now facing a strong resistance zone and the pair is going to be ranging right on that level now there are some positive news from the united states that this year uh, they are gonna uh, develop the vaccine for the COVID-19 uh, virus and therefore this is actually going to be somehow good news for the currency and we can expect from the pair to or sorry from the euro usd to fall based on that news and i think uh, by checking the dxy uh, currency index it's possible that we can see that the euro that sorry the dollar is gonna fall down to the price of 91 and then it's gonna reverse so that being said i believe this week uh, by looking at the weekly candles and looking at the strong resistance zone right here on 1.19642 the euro usd is gonna actually rise a little bit more 
after seeing the bullish weekly candle we can expect this week the candle is gonna open right here of course and it's gonna rise a little bit more up hit the same previous level of the resistance number one let me show you let me show you so again we are on the daily and the weekly candles right now so what we can see right here is this was here a breakout candle from the bearish from the support level right here and what we can see right here is a resistance number one so right now the euro the euro usd is actually creating the resistance number two that being said i believe that since the candle is going to open right here it's going to rise a little bit more up and we are facing right here a strong resistance zone exactly like that that is the resistance zone we are facing and i believe the pair is going to reverse right on that level so it's uh, i think safe to say that we can start uh, selling the euro usd at the level 1.19642 and that is going to be our safe zone like that exactly like this this is going to be our safe zone and the reason i'm choosing this safe zone is we are having right here the strong resistance where i'm expecting this resistance to keep its position as a resistance so please be careful when you are trading the euro usd now the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost seven or actually less than that uh 62 pips and of course i cannot give any uh less or uh, less uh, safe zone because that is exactly where is the resistance zone look at that we are having re the resistance right here and the edge of the resistance right here so it's very expected from the euro usd to be arranging inside this resistance zone before it start falling again to hit our take profit level at the nearest support which is exactly right here at uh, what, where, where actually the retest has occurred so that's gonna be our uh, take profit level where i'm expecting from the pair to fall actually i'm expecting for it to continue the fall all the way to hit this level of the previous resistance however that's gonna take a long time and remember we are now on the weekly candles so that might happen in the uh, in the upcoming few months therefore let me just go back here let's go back let's go back to the daily candles and yes i'm expecting from the pair to continue the fall all the way for almost almost let's say 200 pips hopefully gonna be in good profit so that's gonna be your tech profit level is on 1.17597 so hopefully this signal is gonna work as well and give us some good profits let's check right now the pound usd now as we can see the pound usd has finally made the breakout from the resistance right here on 1.32570 now those who are watching my videos they know very well what is the rule of the breakout if there is a breakout happening from a resistance level the pair is going to continue the rise until it hit the reversal point at the next or the nearest resistance and by looking at the daily candles we can see clearly that the nearest resistance laying exactly right here therefore this is exactly where we can start shorting the pound usd is gonna def uh, definitely is gonna reverse right here and gonna fall all the way to retest the broken resistance exactly right there so that being said let me just set the take profit level <coughs> exactly right here so we are looking for almost 238 pips of profit and the safe zone is going to be ranging here uh, uh, inside the resistance oh my god it's going to be a lot let's try if we can reduce that a little bit hmm exactly that's going to be better i think yeah that's more convenient let me explain the reason why i'm choosing this oh, this uh, safe zone let me just tell you this because i think this is important for those who want to learn and let me just explain to you so as we can see we are going to start shorting the uh, pound usd exactly right here at the top of the wick here because this this is the resistance number one that is where i'm expecting from the pair to reverse however the reason i draw my the uh, other edge or the other side of the safe zone exactly right here on that level is those who are watching my videos long time they know this already uh, when we are having a resistance or a support pattern we let me just zoom in oh shit all right let me just uh, go scroll there again uh, i just have to explain this it's important exactly right here 
So as you can see, this is the pattern of the resistance. And if we count the wicks on the top of the candles, we are having right here one, two, three, three wicks. Now you want to draw your line, the resistance line, in a way that the line is touching all of the wicks. So if you draw it like that at the top of the wick, you are missing actually this wick right here and you are missing the other one. Most likely what will gonna happen is the pair is not gonna reverse there. It's gonna it's not even gonna reach that price. It's gonna reverse exactly where the line is actually touching all of the wicks. So by dragging this a little bit more down, now my, my resistance line is touching this wick right here and this wick right here. What about this guy here? It's not being touched. The resistance line is not touching it. So by dragging my resistance line like that, now the resistance line is touching all of the wicks and the candles just like that. And that is exactly where usually, usually the reversal is gonna occur. So if the market, if we sell the, the pair right here, the candle might go a little bit against us, but however, usually it's gonna reverse exactly right there and continue the fall. That's the only reason I have drawn my resistance zone like that. So I hope uh, it is explaining well the reason behind drawing the zone. So yeah, we have to learn not only be just uh, copy traders who just copy without understanding the reason. So that being said, let me just draw the safe zone. It's gonna be exactly right there. And we're gonna short the pound USD on the level 1.34213. And we are going to set the take profit right now exactly right here on the previous support level on <clears throat> 1.31934. That's going to be our take profit level. So we are looking for almost 222 pips of profit against the safe zone, which is going to be last for almost 60 pips. And hopefully this signal is going to work well and bring us profits. Let's right now move to the AUD USD. Now the AUD USD is very similar setup to the pound USD. As we can see, there was a breakout happened or has happened actually right here at the closure of Monday. And therefore, let me delete this alarm here. Mm, all right, let me delete it later. Anyway, uh, we can see that breakout has happened from that resistance level. And as you know, my friends, as I'm telling you, the, 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 the reversal is going to happen exactly at the next resistance, which is exactly right here, because we are still right here on that resistance level. Let me zoom out. So we can see that the pair is still at that resistance level. So the, the reversal is going to actually happen exactly at that resistance right here. That is the next resistance. Now you might tell me what about this guy, Salah, this also a resistance. I will tell you yes, but the pair is exactly right on it. And personally, I don't expect from the AUD USD to fall right away. I'm sure it's gonna it's gonna continue the rise all the way to hit the previous resistance, and then from that point, it's gonna fall. I don't think the AUD USD is gonna reverse at that resistance just after a few pips only. Therefore, we can expect from the AUD USD to rise a little bit more for almost 70 pips before it's gonna be good for the short. And this is exactly where we are going to short the pair. Let me just be sure again. And drawing my resistance line perfectly fit. Yes, perfectly fine. So uh, that is exactly where I'm expecting to uh, the AUDUC to reverse. And we can start shorting the pair as 0 0.74343. And for the safe zone, it's going to be ranging until the top of the resistance level which is exactly right here. So we are talking about a safe zone. It's gonna be ranging for almost 55 or 56 pips. And hopefully the signal is gonna be good and we are gonna make some good profits of it. So like that. Uh, as you can see, I didn't explain much because uh, the setup is very, very similar to the uh, pound USD. So take profit level is 0 0.72774 and I think we are looking for almost 150 or 160 pips of profit. Hopefully we are going to get them all. Let's check right now the USD CAD. Now the USD CAD, uh, actually, I don't know why this is happening right here. I think this is from the other 
I think this is from the pound USD. Yes, it's just copied. Re he copied itself right here. Honestly, I don't know why my MT4 is doing that. I'm gonna have to delete it because it's just uh, confusing me. All right, so let's check the pound. So let's check the USD CAD. Now the USD CAD has faced a strong support level on 1.30355. As we can see, this support level has been uh, keeping the position since more than two, since almost two years, or actually one year, uh, since July 2019. We can see that the pair has actually kept the position of a support level, even after the breakout happened right here. The market has reversed immediately, and that support kept its position again even after the bearish breakout from that support level and that support is still playing its role as a support therefore i believe that the usd cad might fall a little bit more for almost 60 pips and this is exactly where we are going to buy the usd cad at 1.30355 and of course the safe zone is gonna be ranging at that previous support level, lower, uh, lower level of the support right here. Let me just make it perfectly fit exactly like that. So it is going to be ranging for almost 60 pips. Oh, not triangle for sure, not triangle. And then that is our safe zone. And for the tech profit level, it's going to be exactly at the nearest support, which is exactly right here. I'm just looking at the left actually, right here. If you are wondering, my friends, I was looking here and looking here as well and looking here also on the previous support level. So if the pair is uh, going to fall down a little bit more, it's going to reverse up all the way to hit the previous support level right here. And therefore, we might be looking for almost 100 pips of profit. Hopefully, we are going to get them all. So the tech profit level is going to be 1.31479. It's worth to mention something here. It's very important. Now, for example, we can see that this candle has a close as a pin bar. So if in case you see the candle going up all the way to hit the tech profit level and then fall down, then this signal is invalid because the tech profit has already been reached without reaching our tech profit level. Oh, sorry, without reaching our entry point. Look at that. There is already here a, a tail. That tail is very close to our entry point. So I'm expecting from the pair to fall a little bit more down to create another tail which is going to close also as a pin bar and then the market is going to go up here and hit our tech profit level if on monday morning the, the pair has immediately reversed and went all the way to the tech profit level then please cancel the signal because it's not going to valid anymore not going to be valid anymore all right let's check right now the usd jpy so by looking at the USD GPY on the daily candles, what we can notice right here is that there was a breakout from that support level right here. However, the pair has actually reversed from the support on 105.290. However, uh, the pair is moving in a downtrend and it seems like it's going to keep the position of it. And if we would draw here a Fibonacci retracement, we can see that the pair has actually reversed exactly on 23.6 and I'm expecting from the pair to go up all the way right here to, to retest the broken support level and then it's going to continue the fall. So in general, the USD GPY is going to actually uh, reverse a little bit more only for almost 32 pips and then it's going to continue the fall all the way also to hit that previous support level right there. So that being said, Let's just be sure of that and go back to the four hour chart. And we can notice here that the pair has already reversed from that support level. So that support has already been retested. And what we are expecting now is that the pair is going to reverse right on that support level and it's going to go up all the way here. And remember, we already have here a resistance number one. And therefore, I'm expecting from the pair to go up right here to create the resistance number two. Therefore, uh, let's go to the one hour chart so we can know exactly where we can start shorting the pair so now by looking at the one hour chart we can notice that right here is the resistance number one and we can expect from the pair to rise a little bit more to create the resistance number two exactly right here so USDGPY is good for the short this week on 105.564 
and the safe zone is gonna be actually a little bit more it's gonna be ranging until yes for almost and actually I'm looking here at the left my friends exactly right here so if the pair for example is gonna exceed our safe zone is gonna go all the way to hit that previous resistance for almost 51 pips before reversing however I believe the USDGPY is gonna really reverse right here on the resistance I don't think it's gonna exceed it and it's gonna continue the fall so that's gonna be our safe uh, zone just like that that's the safe zone and for the take profit level is gonna be exactly right here at that previous support level so we are looking for almost 130 pips of profit hopefully we're gonna make them all so the take profit level is on 104.233 again hopefully really is gonna well and we will make some good profits out of it let's check right now the USD CHF now the USD CHF is let's go to the, to the daily candle is actually facing a strong support zone let's just go back here to the weekly candles and we can see that the pair is facing a strong support level right here now by checking the history we can see that we are having right here a strong key support level and right here as well and we had this is huge huge un unusual breakout happened right here and the market just went up again so that level of the previous support has become a resistance but again we had the massive breakout of the level and i'm expecting from expecting from that support level to keep its position as a support as well so that being said the uccchf is going to be good for the buy this week however we are not going to buy it immediately we just are going to have to wait for the pair to fall a little bit more down to the previous support level so it might fall for actually more than that it might fall for almost 30 pips before it's gonna be valid for the buy so uh, USDCHF is for the buy at 0 0.90098 and for the safe zone let's just uh, go back to the weekly candles so we can decide the safe zone the safe zone is gonna be ranging almost um, until the top of the other previous support level exactly right here I think yeah almost 64 pips um, as you can see uh, it's hard to see that in the smaller time frame so we just need to do measure it like that it's almost gonna be like 52 pips and uh, let me draw for you the safe zone um, I cannot really zoom in otherwise we cannot really see it however that's gonna be our buy level for the USD CHF and for the take profit level is gonna be exactly where we expecting from the, the from the pair to retest the broken support level on 0 0.91757 and that could be about 152 pips of profit hopefully we're gonna get them all so the tech profit level is 0 0.91757 and hopefully also it's gonna be a good signal now let's check the gold I believe the last week I have uh, uh, the midweek analysis video work well for the gold however we need to discuss the gold because it's very important to talk about what's happening right now let me explain something about the gold the gold as I as I have expected has been ranging for a long time in this uh, zone right here I told you if you remember I said that the gold was ranging right here so we can expect from it to also range for the upcoming week and as we can see it has been ranging and going in consolidation mode as well because the gold right now waiting some good or bad news from the US dollar uh, to actually help it to rise or to fall however as I said uh, the news about the vaccine of the COVID-19 in the United States to be released by the end of the year is actually gonna boost the US dollar and therefore I'm expecting from the gold to fall however it's not gonna happen right away it's not gonna happen immediately I am sure that the let me explain to you something here I really don't think the price of 2075 is gonna be ever reached again uh, not uh, not soon I'm expecting for it to become actually or happen again after several months if not by by the end of the next year and all in all I believe this price right here has been reached only because of the um, chaos and the fear from the fall of the US dollar but right now the US dollar I uh, don't think it's gonna fall uh, anymore after uh, falling to the price of 91 therefore 
I'm expecting from the gold to reach the price of 2014 and then it's, or 2015 and then it's gonna continue the fall. Now it's very important to mention th something about the gold. Do you notice something here? If you look at the gold, is there anything unusual that you are noticing? Look at that. What you are seeing right here, this which I have drawn, uh, I have uh, put the circle around. <clears throat> these are what we call like a battle between the bears and the bulls. The bulls are trying to take the market up and the bears trying to push the market down. Uh, this movement right here, when you see the move, the market moving like that, uh, with just two long wicks inside the one zone, it usually it is actually an unusual uh, pattern, and it only indicates a strong battle between the bulls and the bears. Now, what's happening usually after these uh, strong uh, battles? Something we are calling price explosion. So, what is price explosion? Price explosion means a massive breakout from the support or the resistance. And if we check the history on the gold, for example, we can see it right here. It happened right here. We can notice right here if we draw the safe zone. Let me draw it for not, sa not safe zone, sorry. We just draw the zone right here. Look at that. Exactly what happened right here is happening has happened right here. And the battles between the bears and the bulls has happened. And actually what happened is boom. That is the explosion. We can see that the pair has actually made the strong, a very strong bullish momentum and went all the way to the price of 2075. Now, the very similar thing happened right here. We can notice right here this unusual movement of the gold, which has led in the end for another price explosion. And the gold has fall all the way like that. It has fallen for almost 1,574 pips. And that is exactly what we're uh, meaning by price explosion. And I'm expecting the same thing actually to happen right here. We're having right here this uh, zone right here and the pair has been ranging inside this zone. And what I'm expecting my friends is another price explosion to happen very soon. And the gold is actually going to continue the rise to hit that previous resistance and then it's going to fall. Therefore, uh, we're actually going <clears> to <throat> buy the gold this week. Of course, I, I forgot to mention that we need to check something right here. It's about the trend lines to know exactly how or where this, this explosion is going to occur. So if we draw the uh, resistance and support trend lines, we can see that the pair has been trapped inside this uh, zone or this channel. And therefore, I'm expecting from the pair to fall a little bit more to hit this previous support level. And then it's going to continue the rise and the explosion is going to happen right here. The gold is going to continue the rise until it hit that resistance level. And after that point, the gold is going to fall down. That being said, of course, we can start buying the gold on 1938.98. Uh, uh, <coughs> <coughs> and we can keep the thread running all the way until it hit that previous resistance level on 2009 so the take profit level is going to be 2009 and we are looking for almost 700 pips of profit hopefully we are going to make them all now regarding the safe zone let me just explain to you that as i said i'm expecting from the pair to reverse right here to fall down to hit that previous support level this one sorry so therefore, the safe zone is going to be ranging inside this support uh, uh, zone right here because actually this support level is exactly below that uh, support trend line and I really doubt if it's going to fall down here and then continue the rise. Therefore, this is going to be exactly our safe zone. Just like that. So the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 100 pips and hopefully this signal is, go is also going to be very profitable and gonna be helpful for everyone and of course as usual if something went uh, or something unexpected happened or something went against this analysis i'm gonna notify everyone in the midweek analysis video so uh, in the end i really hope it's gonna be a very profitable and good week for everyone and i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching